Hey, good morning, and welcome back to the book of Malachi. We are at chapter 1, verses 2 and 3, we're going to look at today. So here's the beginning of God's message he sends through his servant, the prophet we'll call Malachi. And here's how he begins. Verse 2, I have loved you, says the Lord, yet you say, in what way have you loved us? Was not Esau Jacob's brother, says the Lord? Yet Jacob I have loved, but Esau I have hated, and laid waste his mountains in his heritage for the jackals of the wilderness. God begins by saying, I loved you. This is how the whole book begins. And he's going to have a series of questions. We're going to go through each one. And he's going to say, like, it's basically exactly the same pattern we see in verse 2. I have loved you, says the Lord. There's a statement. Yet you say, in what way have you loved us? We're going to see this pattern through the book of Malachi. And so here's how it begins. God starts by saying, I've loved you. And they say, well, tell us about that. Because, like, we're not quite sure where you're going with that. And God then tells them that he chose... Israel, he chose Jacob and his sons, he chose them over Esau and his sons. And it's, you know what, they had the same parents, they had the same beginnings, they had the same background, they had the same education, the same growing up. I mean, obviously, there are some minor differences always with even with individual children in a family. But in other words, they have the same heritage, the same parentage. Uh, So here are two, and God picks the one and not the other. And so he's saying to them right away, I have a purpose that I have had, a particular purpose for Israel, for you, for my people, and I have chosen you even over these other people. And it might seem to you and I kind of arbitrary. God is saying, it may seem arbitrary to you, but I want you to know that I've chosen you to be my special people. And I have have a reason for that. I've got some reasons going on for that. And so this also kind of sets up this pattern of uh, the statement and then the questioning of the statement. I've loved you, says the Lord, and yet you say, how have you loved us? So the people are questioning God. They're doubtful. They're, they're instead of starting by trusting him, they're starting with doubt and questioning. And you see this pattern, of course, in the New Testament when the devil uh, is in the wilderness with Jesus. And how does that work out? Uh, the devil starts with the, this kind of very subtle if business. If, if you're the son of God, why don't you do this? If you're the son of God, you should be doing that. And so starting with these subtle questionings. And God makes a statement, I have loved you, but here's a people. And they're kind of starting on the wrong foot. This is going to get a lot worse as we work our way through the book. But anyway, here's the beginning. God chooses people, not because of their, any particular goodness or because he likes their haircut. God chooses people. And God has chosen you and I. He wants us to be faithful And yet, what do we tend to do? Maybe we're kind of like these people who are saying, well, how is it exactly that you love us? You know, what what are we going to get out of this? We have the wrong start. And so here there's some kind of wrong starting going on. But let's let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, as we look at your word, we want to be right with you. We see where some of your servants have started with this subtle questioning. And you're not against us questioning, Lord, but we want there to be a good, a right basis for that questioning. So, Lord, we thank you for loving your people and choosing us. We want to identify with Jacob and with Israel and Judah here as we're uh, going to work our way through Malachi. We want to be the faithful ones. We want to be those that make up your jewels, as we'll see later in this book. Help us, Lord, not to be serving from a wrong motivation and serving, Lord, from a space of doubt and distrust. Lord, what good could come from that? So please be our helper. Bless us as we uh, learn from the burden of Malachi. We ask in Jesus' name. Amen. So we're starting off in Malachi. Come back tomorrow morning and we're going to carry right on. God be with you.